All right, yo, welcome to another episode of the Slide Through Podcast. I am your host, Miggy, here with the homie Eric, here with yo. the homie Ronnie, here with the lovely couple, Mr. and Mrs. Cruz. Mm. Uh, How's that sound? Hey, I oh, that's how was that the first time I you just heard that? Today, nigga. I now pronounce you guys. Hey, Mr. <laughs> hey, y'all gotta go like and subscribe right now. Yeah, like and you know subscribe. it's gonna be a dope ass episode. <clears throat> oh yeah. Um, hey, make sure and hit that notification bell for all the episodes and content dropping. It's been a lot of content dropping. Um, for a lot. Yeah, yeah. Before we dive into that, I just want to give a quick shout to the sponsors. Uh, shout to Monterey Bay Creations. You dream it, they create it. Shirts, hoodies, hats, stitching, stickers, right? All that Conglomerate good stuff. Conglomerate by the Sea. Conglomerate by the Sea. Check that website out. It has a lot of dope merch in there, and that's where you can catch our latest episodes as well. Uh, shout out to DJ Definitely Eaton. Make sure you visit DefinitelyEaton.com. Get all that Definitely Eaton merchandise. Does it still have that Labor Day uh, discount thing, uh, or it was just yesterday? Well, it's Labor Day. Tuesday. Yeah, it's well, Tuesday? I think, yeah. So, I think so it might so be over. Instant, okay, well, yeah, y'all not going to get This will be out by Friday, yeah. so. Yeah, so hopefully you guys got the chance to catch that 10%, you know what I mean, little little nice chunk right there. Y'all shared it. Y'all shared it. Yeah. I was yeah. a little late on it. Mm-hmm. Damn. And, uh, Sorry, DJ. It's all good. It's all good, DJ. And uh, shout out to Fish House located in Watsonville. If you're ever out there in the area, make sure you stop by over there and catch some uh, some really good seafood. I still haven't gone there. I need to go. We need to go, man. We need, we need to, make to a trip. go. Ricky's gonna pay with his Bitcoin. Fuck. Yeah. Don't say that. Don't say that. Bitcoin. It's not El Salvador. <laughs> Fuck. I still need to go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, speaking of content, Ricky, uh, the uh, the after party just dropped, man. The after party, what after party? Listen, listen, man. Shout, Shout out to Mr. Active. Party, Shout out to Mr. Active and the track. Shout out to Mr. Active and the track. Man, um, look like you're the life of the party, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's, it was Mr. Active and the track. There's a re- album release party, so I just happened to be. At Deja a, Blue, right? Yeah, I just happened to be a segment of that, but. Yeah, you just happened to be a segment to do with the biggest chain in there. It was not. There was other people with chains, dude. Okay, but, but yeah, yours yeah. was the biggest. Yeah, just say so. Yeah, I can't say claim it. it. I can't claim it because I didn't measure. It. I didn't measure nobody's chain. What you mean? Ooh, which see, I just worry about myself. Which one danced the most? Yeah. Yours was dancing like a motherfucker. Yours was like Michael Jackson in there. Oh fuck. Doing the I same mean, moonwalking on everybody's I chain. I mean, man, her, yeah. I heard I a couple mean, of people got it confused for a disco ball. That's why I heard. For real. I mean, shit. I, I heard I a heard. couple of people went up to you like, did you just win the Olympics? Like, damn, that looks oh, like the gold medal yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah they Which country? <laughs> Which country? <laughs> <laughs> Since the whole colors were in there, they couldn't figure it out. Well, shit. I mean, disclaimer is from the gumball machine, so. <laughs> oh, okay. He said, I keep it clean, though. I keep I it clean. It he though. said, I own the gumball machine. <laughs> but I own the gumball machine. <laughs> he said, I used to sell homies. <laughs> Yeah, so looking back at that video, uh, what'd you think of it? Honestly, man? um, shit, hey, you dude. guys had a great time. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, we did have yeah, a great time. That's great. It was dope. That's good, um, man. Like I said, we were good vibes, you know, all fucked that. Fucked up for yeah. most of it, then started coming down. But overall, just the process of it, just getting there, because I was with Mr. Active and Attractive, like in the limo when they pulled up. And Damn, then my y'all lady, had a limo? And then my lady pulled up. She you wasn't know? in the limo? She wasn't. She was a little late. <laughs> oh, but snooze, she pulled up. She lose. pulled up with a little fur. And I, I'm not going to lie. It felt good. All, all these girls that were in the she limo was like, stunning, oh, huh? who that? It was uh, like, who's that? And I was like, I'm just saying, that's quiet. my wife. I just said, quiet. Like, <laughs> you, hey, you cross your legs. That's my wife. That's my wife. <laughs> and I told her, come get in the You were like, room. chance to rap her, huh? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It wasn't my party. I'm <laughs> way. <laughs> nah, but yeah, it was fun. And um, there's just hella people there, to be honest. As you guys check it out, um, uh, the Truth 21, I think, is the uh, the one that recorded it. Who? Well, this part. His Instagram's oh, uh, the Truth. Derek. Yeah, Derek. Derek, man. A big salute well, to shout Derek. Out, shout out to Derek. I don't shout know you. Shout out to Derek, man. Nah, he's, a, he's a good homie. I, I met him in college. Really, really lovable Dumb guy, man. Oh, you went to college? Yeah, I went to college. Uh, For how went long? To college. Since the pandemic, so he graduated. <laughs> he went through the pandemic. Yeah, during oh, the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So he's still the pandemic. in it. It looks, like, it looks like the time to no. go. Uh, no. Pandemic fucked you up. Yeah. yeah. Took your focus off it, huh? It did, man. They canceled my my program. It, it was different. I mean, I wouldn't feel right paying the full amount and having to look at this motherfucker on the screen. Not really put his full hundred percent into the whole shit. That's what I got from everybody that was taking. Courses over yeah. the fucking online and still paying full amount, I but mean, yet the teacher's not really giving a fuck because they're at home with their underwear off. I mean, well, 
Mm, that's the thing, man. Sometimes you get those professors that don't care. You get the professors who, like, start to slack off, you know. Well, I mean, I, I would understand, too. I'm at home. I'm, I'm in my... I'm in my lazy comfort zone. I'm, you know, like I would get it too if I was a professor. I'd be like, ah, fuck these kids. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm saying, still getting paid. He's just in I'm his draws. <laughs> he's just in his draws, and he's gonna For go real. get something in the kitchen. Hold up, y'all. He forgets. Hold up, gets up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just hear him go to the bathroom. You hear him yell <laughs> shit. It's just shit farts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's louder when it hits the toilet. <laughs> you just hear the big drop. <laughs> Listen, man, that's getting out of hand. Speaking of some things that's getting out of hand, I guess shooters or non-shooters, people in general, <laughs> guns in general, people in general in, in San Francisco are getting, supposedly getting paid $300 to not shoot anybody. How, how do they regulate exactly, that? Exactly. How do you claim it? How so do you go? Basically, from what I read, how do you go to the city and be like, "Yo, I didn't shoot, a, I didn't shoot homie for like a week." I, I guess they test your hands for gun residue or something like. What, what, like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> no. Like, basically, like they a do a uh, they do an interview. Uh, pretty much, people that have been convicted that have criminal records that want to do better in life, they're giving them that. Can't chance, you lie? I, guess. I mean, you can, Can't but you lie, you're like, still gonna nah, go in for an I didn't interview, shoot homie. But so I you have to, died. You have to have a record. I'm assuming, yeah. So you gotta have a record. You gotta go in there for an interview, and then I guess they decide whether you get it or is not. Is that fair for everybody else that's been living there and kind of going through the bullshit? Well, I mean, it says they tried it somewhere else and it worked, so they're trying to try it there, see if it works. Nah. But doesn't this mean everybody should get paid three hundred? I've like, never shot anybody. Dude, that, that's like that's, that's like, like that bullshit when they had uh, the the gun donation, where you uh -huh. could go and donate the gun, but you're not gonna get charged and bullshit yeah. like that. That's really bullshit to me. Like, how I know, that sounds like a straight-up setup. It's setup off top. You feel me? Like, how are you going to go to the police station with a loaded gun and just straight drop it in the fucking bucket and walk out? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but now they want you to say, like, nah, I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot, dude. But, I mean, Someone think about did. how crazy the city, San Francisco, has to be in order for them to want to do that. I mean, have you, you well, haven't hey, seen people taking this shit in the street? I, I was about to say, spend that money on fucking street cleanup, bro. For the real? fact that I got to wash my foot every time I got to fucking walk down the street in San Francisco because there's human shit everywhere. Fuck, see? I've never seen anybody get shot in Frisco. I've you seen know somebody what, take a shit, though. I've seen plenty of people take shit. You know what? And I'm tired of those fucking hills, bro. Make it fucking even, all right? Make okay, it a relax, fucking relax. even plan field, dude. I'm tired of all those fucking uphills. <laughs> no, no. Right? It, sounds, it feels like I'm you, in a fucking... No, you gotta take that up a guy, You bro, know what, Miggy? No. You haven't been up those hills in a stick shift car. Yeah, no, I don't Maggie. want to. All right. You I haven't walked Maggie. up those hills, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to walk up those hills. I don't want nothing to do with those hills. You don't want nothing to do. Hey, I'm it's different. Stay, when you're, when you're stay driving up those hills scared. in the stick shift. First time I went there in the stick shift, I was scared. I was For like, bro, dude. I'm used to like there. maybe 40 degree angles. These are like 90 degree angles. For bro. Real. I was like, fuck. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck hey, that. but we got through it, though. We got through it. We got through it. So I don't know. So I don't know how they're going to determine which people to give $300 to. I mean, does this motivate? Do you guys think this will work? Like, it'll motivate people not to shoot somebody Absolutely else? Absolutely not, no. No? Because they shoot. Yo, they, they could rob somebody for more than that and then I shoot them. I was em. just about to say, like, yeah, you're offering me $300 not to shoot somebody, but, I mean, I got contracted for 10 bands, so, I mean. Yeah. Okay, but, I mean, you guys, uh, let's just say here. you guys qualify to get these 300 bucks. Are you guys gonna go ahead and take it? No. Nah. Why not? Because I, yeah, can make like more, already... I can make more money with my gun. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But look, yeah. you could go commit the crime and, and they're not gonna know and you still collect your 300 bucks. You guys are giving people too many ideas now. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Shout, out yeah. Shout out to Frisco. Shout out to the Bay. But I mean, you go commit the crime, the only reason you'll get caught and won't get your 300 bucks is if you get caught. Other than that, True. you go in there, give me my money. Well, shit. Money why talks. Can't we do, why can't we do both? Money talks, That's why man. I'm saying you could do both. That's what I'm saying. So Listen, if you guys qualify, would you guys like apply for? They gotta, it? They gotta right, add yeah, a couple more zeros like to that three hundred. What I did man. before that, and if I still have the same, fu if I were to be in that life, and doing that whole bullshit, I would try to you know, fucking change phones like uh, change guns like phone numbers. You're supposed to do that, but they don't. Oh. That's Are why you they get caught. No, I don't know. I mean, if I was like a San Francisco <laughs> bum, then yeah. Nah, they carry the fucking knives and the fucking blades and the fucking. I, heard someone, I don't I heard know. If I was got, a fiend, I would be trying to tell him like, no, I got a gun for real. Nah, because uh, Man, I don't I, shoot nobody. You know, <laughs> I kind of keep up, try to keep up in the news, and uh, I heard someone got robbed at fucking knife point by a homeless guy. I mean, it's guy, really a thing. But it was on Hay Street. It's still a thing. I mean, it's normal. That happened here in Seaside. 
High Street. You mean the Where? street that fucking right there by churches? The street. street. Homie, homie walked for hours. Oh yeah, that happened yeah. in Seaside on Sono- Sonoma. Son- yeah, Sonoma. That happens all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's normal. People it's get jacked with a knife. Yeah, everybody does. Hey, but hey, it, it just became news because of a tourist. Oh. Mm. Yeah, but you, you get you get robbed over there. It's like fuck, my turn. Fuck. You know, no, you but I mean, being up. in the uh, hospitality industry. We get a lot of tourists Honestly, that say they get their cars broken into in San Francisco. Honestly, it's just people that don't know how to move. That's so true. It's if just I people move. that don't know how to move. Bro, I um, I'm not going to say my homie doesn't know how to move, but he was just but wasn't he doesn't thinking straight. So I was in Oakland recently. Uh-huh. And um, he was really, he was wearing a, re- a decent color that like he didn't feel comfortable wearing because we're in the hood. Trying to get some breakfast But we're in a hood Like literally When we pulled up Trying to find parking The whole SWAT Was outside Getting ready for a raid So uh, He hell was wearing yeah, a certain yeah. color I was like Hey bro Like you think you should change Like I gave him that advice He's like fuck it He was literally Trying to go out Open the trunk And go through a suitcase In front of like The whole no- the whole neighborhood So, so I made change? him I made him like Nah I made him go to the back Open the little Little hole or that the compartment some cars have, you know, mm-hmm. and have them just try to pick out whatever the fuck you can, because you're not gonna go fucking around and have somebody look that hey, we have luggage, we have things in here, yeah, and break into my whip, fuck. you know. So, so there's some people that just don't really think about how to move sometimes. But I mean, if you're a tourist, you kind of don't know. You gotta know how to move. Well, as a you tourist, gotta you gotta be like, I gotta be on my toes out here. Exactly, you gotta... <laughs> exactly. But I mean, I mean think about it. You gotta remind yourself, you, you're a tourist. You, but also, I mean, what? I mean, look, Miggy, I remember we, oh, we was out in Frisco. Uh, we were really like. And we was like mobbing the streets. It was like three okay, in the morning. Okay, it was like okay. three in the morning. And That's understandable. I but mean, but we're I'm, saying, I'm saying I was in a different situation. I was in a hood that I didn't know. Literally. We didn't know in where we were either. Yeah, no, literally in a hood. I kind of knew. If you pull up in a hood and you see a whole SWAT team getting ready to raid a house. You should feel safe. Nah. What you mean? I have What's a law in front of me to protect me. Nah. Nah. <laughs> they left. They left. Like, they gone. Hey, they y'all gone. got an extra vest? They gone. They, well, go, they <laughs> going to raid the whatever the they're going to go vest. raid. Mm-hmm. So, so. But think you know, about it. It's safe enough for them to set up there and then go raid the house. Bro, just say the Donda chant. It'll, be, it'll keep you safe. Nah. Donda, Donda, nah. Donda, Donda. With the rosary. Nah. CBO, but the rules you don't wash that shit Ronsta, for me. Ronsta, Ronsta, Ronsta. I have I had safe, less dude. skips on CBL than Donda. Why? Oh, we, 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 we we're not there, there yet. We're not there yet. All right, going back all right. to your thing. All right. I understand when you say you got to move, but a tourist when you go out of town, you really don't know anything. Like mm-hmm. when you're when when I'm out of town, I try not to look like a tourist. I try not to take too much photos. I try not to. If I have my wallet, I have it in my front pocket. Jewelry. Ju- yeah, I'm, no I don't wear jewelry. Okay. I'm fucking wearing, what was it? What is this shit? Fucking rocks, nigga. Who the fuck is gonna rob rocks? A homeless person gonna C- take C- your rocks. glass. D- did you charge that today? No, my girl made this. Shout out to my girl. Uh. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's cute. it was good energy, huh? Hell yeah. Show it to the day. camera. Let me see. <laughs> I like necklaces, dude. Like, yeah. I didn't know she makes necklaces. That's a very yeah, nice rock. What kind of rock is that? I f- we I f- we were out looking for sea glass, found at the beach. Oh, that that it's kind of hard, bro. It is. I like it. She, she sells them? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I'm trying to get that going, you feel me? I'm trying to be <laughs> like Ricky. Get businesses going. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't blame me. Is what? that a Tyrannosaurus Rex tooth? <laughs> no, I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> well, that's just an old Heineken, bro. Just stop getting so deep into I don't know, it. No. This is it's hard. Found it. There's really a tracker in there. But she got a whole shit to make glass <laughs> into sea glass. But yeah, hard. other than that, you gotta know how to move. Nah. Yeah. Well, people like yeah. Yeah. No, always, no, no. Always gotta learn how to move no matter where okay, you go. Okay, so I, I get you. I get you. Because, you you know, you're not going to be on the bay looking for your luggage in your trunk. In the middle of the street. Everybody look. Yeah, yeah, of course not. You yeah. should have a basic idea of where you where are go. going, though. Yeah. You should know what's going on. Like, so you're going yeah, to L.A., same. you shouldn't be wearing fucking all red in L.A. or all well, blue no, in L.A., depending on where you're. Sure. Because you can hit the wrong, yeah, yeah, but you you can know, hit a wrong turn and then you're fucked. Yeah, but uh, you understand that. But you know when you're going out of town, you hey, I'm going to wear this fit this day. I'm going to wear this fit that day. Hey, I got this for... You know, you feel me? Like, yeah. motherfuckers have their fit planned out. Right. And they're not thinking about that. Yeah, they're not yeah, thinking they're not about, thinking, like... They're not, you I know, do. in their they're heads, they're not the, like, nah, yeah. I'm not going to a hood where I'm going to be uncomfortable. Yo, I'm wearing Alaskan pink salmon, bro. we went to a salmon, hood bro, to go mean? get some Salvadorian breakfast because that's where you get the On real mission? breakfast. But that's where the mana be. Oakland. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was in Oakland. Like, Oakland, Oakland. 
Yeah. Oh, so Shout out. Before it was a mission, I was like, nah, fuck it, where that shit? Like, no. Oh. We went Frisco's to a Salvadoran different. spot. We went to a Salvadoran that spot. That was in, in LA, right? In, yeah. LA. Yep. That yeah. spot was fucking bomb. fire. Super fire. Bruh, and it was in a little, 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 right. little, I love little that That's shit. how you know it's gonna be fire, though, if it's yeah. a little sketchy. The little right. shack spots, you know what I mean? It yeah, it is like a, a little sketchy. Next to a bodega. Like, next to know? a bodega, yeah. homeless dude with a cart selling all kinds of random shit. For you know real. What I'm and I there was, yeah, shit. in Oakland, there was fucking dope boys outside. Oh, yeah. Like, you straight up knew there were dope boys. Just two dudes hanging outside, talking. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Why can't they just be two Man, dudes? Yeah, why can't they be no discussing the news, bro? Because they was had the fucking triple around? dudes, no. a fucking well, bubble jacket on, bro. Did they had jewelry, <laughs> they were chilling. Did they have a beeper? There's no beepers beeper? nowadays. There's no beepers, there's iPhones. This is the new beeper right here, bro. Yeah. Technically, you got one. Hey, chill, nigga. Don't, don't be yeah. saying that. Well, you guys want to move forward to the next All one? All right, so yes, just to end this, do you guys think it's going to work? Do you think it's going to lower the crime or no? Or do you no. think this is just a free hand? No one's going to report this shit. I think this is pointless. Yeah, yeah. you got to no pay. going to report this shit. You got to pay more than 300 that's for sure. And if they do, they're fronted. Like, they probably never, ever shot somebody. They're just trying to collect money. Yeah. Yo, come through with, with bags of human feces, and we'll pay you 300 bucks. Guarantee people will do that more. Nah, don't come through here <laughs> with human feces. No, what you no, mean? I mean, no, like, yo, come through and deposit the human feces you and picked Frisco, up on the street. And Frisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. we'll get rid of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. they, you yeah, know what they mean? can do that. You know what? Clean up the fucking yeah. neighborhood for 300 when bucks. When you say we, hey. you know you include us, That's right? a good idea. Oh, no, Why don't like, they just pay them 300 bucks a day? That's to go clean up a hood. Yeah, clean I up forgot. the freeways or something. I for, I think it was in three hundred dollars. I forgot a day where the, they were doing it at a beach. Like if you uh, clean, up. clean up the beach, they give you weed. What the fuck? I think it was in Jamaica. I'm oh, not sure. Of course. Yeah. All right, so it's not gonna Bomb. work. Fuck yeah. it. What do you think? <laughs> we're doomed. Miss Cat, know, we, we haven't had a women's. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think Ms. this Cruz. is gonna work? You said that they've already did this somewhere and that it worked. That's what they say. But where? that's just statistics. <laughs> Don't do you trust know where? Yeah, where? Uh, uh, Richmond. And when they're trying to do that. No, you just in Richmond specific. Go down. Go down. I don't go think down. Richmond is, a, it is says as 55. As it says uh, Frisco. Uh, in San Francisco, no. That money needs to be put somewhere else. It doesn't need to be put towards that. It needs to be. There's too many homeless communities. So I, I get what Ron, Ronnie's saying about like. Street cleanup. Yeah. Like but literally but cleanup. The, and yeah. But there's more to it. There's like the underlying. So if you're talking about like. The homeless population, the community, and they're taking shit. It's like okay, obviously there's what some. I think they there's should, like mental health issues, so that needs be, to be put into the yeah, homeless community we, for mental health problems. Because no one, no one wants it. Who really wants to take a shit in in the street? No privacy. When you're home, you want that door closed, right? I'm, I'm assuming if you have. But if you're right, homeless. You don't, I mean, a lot of times, so with homeless communities, a lot of times what's going on is that there's an underlying issue, and then a lot of people think, oh, well, they're all on drugs, but a lot of times there's mental health issues that lead to drug exactly. use, or they're, yes. they've done drugs, and or that causes mental health issues. Or not even had drugs, but they're just it starts, cuckoo yeah, it, because it of all the bullshit they've yeah. been through in life. Yeah, so it's like either or, it's like the drugs will cause it, or, you know, you already have a mental health issue so then you start taking drugs to escape whatever it is that you're trying to escape from so but it needs to go into man, that needs to be put into drugs. something different and yeah. not not towards not shooting no the homeless community no that's i think it's ridiculous so according to an operation peacemaker fellowship in richmond it decreased crime by 55 percent and gone homicide by 43 percent but that then was it, right before the pandemic though and then That's again, 2019. I don't think Richmond is as to, big as San Francisco. Oh, no, no. Yeah. San Francisco, bro, you can honestly get away with it. There's so many fucking streets, so many alleys, so many cuts, corners. You could take that. I wasn't even over there. So how if do you a know? cop stops you and you actually did a crime, like I wasn't even over there. And if you got rid of whatever you did it with, then like you weren't what, even there. What do they have? They have a camera. There's honestly not many, that many that much cameras that work out there. How That's, do you know? Though? How do you know? Bruh, I, there's, there's, there. cam- there's cameras everywhere, but do they work? I don't How know, but I, 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 I believe more than they work. Street, they're going to know. Cameras, like cameras... Just specifically Hay Street? Just yes, because that's where, that's from where like, a lot of... He's from Hay Street. You know, it's, Street, it's, 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 the tech, it's just it's like the, that. It's the, tech, it's the tech capital of the, of the fucking... Uh, no, that's uh, Silicon Valley. That's off... No, but like Frisco right and San Jose. It's, it's so if it was the tech capital of this whole shit, would they be giving three hundred dollars to people or be spending more money? Obviously, on they tech? got as much money to just shoot out for no reason like that. Yeah, bro. Maybe it's okay. a social experiment. Hey, uh, why don't people in San Francisco like the term San Fran? They hate Frisco. They hate Frisco too. Yeah. The Frisco sounds dope. 
you're like, oh, we don't call it Frisco. I mean, we're not from there, so I don't know. You say the whole shit? You say the whole shebang? They say, they say the whole, SF. They say... Oh. Or, or Bay Area. Bay, SF. Or back home. Back home. Or the town. Oh, yeah, really? That's the only fucking town that there yeah, is? That's, that's, that's Oakland. That's Oakland. Yeah. That's Oakland. Yeah. <laughs> the city. Yeah, Come the on, city. man. And then there's a town. Well, there's a lot city. of cities. <laughs> no disrespect to people from San Francisco. All right, so it's not going to work. That's what we think? I guess. I guess. I don't think it's going to work. I go with what you say. I feel like it's free money for somebody, though. Free money. Get then. your bag. Get your bag. All right, let's move forward. Damn, dude. Asshole. All right. <laughs> you guys are the same person because he he do he do that to say the people too. What the, the, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, he does the same thing to people too. Moving forward to <laughs> abortion laws in Texas. Stop. Don't put me on camera. Yo, okay. Me exits we have the group a chat. we have a wins perspective <laughs> on what uh, abortion laws in Texas. Do you want to give your perspective yes, or do you want to yeah. ours first? So what oh, happened? Yeah, your, your, so, or, or whichever. My only opinion is that men shouldn't make laws about women's bodies. Exactly. So Myself. what happened though? Can you break it down? Because I'm not. Okay. Really so yeah, Texas is just one of those states where they just be doing. They just redoing, do whatever they, they want. Pretty much. Ain't no what's like, crazy? A lot so of Californians of are moving out there. It's but yeah, they're getting there. hit with those new laws. Of like fuck. To know. an extent, people don't care about that law. Uh, there's a there's quite a few. Okay, few so finish explaining. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I apologize. So, for no, no, you're you're fine. You're fine. Um, <laughs> this is Yasha Nuss. So I'm just a guest. Um, so pretty much, like I said, Texas is just like its own little world. They they be doing whatever they be doing, and so pretty much there. It's called the the Harvey Act. So if a woman is um, she can't get a or someone who identifies because I have to respect those who you know yeah. mm -hmm. identify um, non-binary yeah. or they want to be identified as a woman um but for a woman with reproductive organs of a woman like you know you have like a whole uterus and and all that good stuff yeah if you are more than six weeks pregnant then this heartbeat act for texas you are not allowed to get you're criminalized and you you there's a penalty for you you Basically, you they become murderers. But yeah, you, so is it like a fine or are you going to jail no, for you it? No, you can or? go to jail, but also you can get sued for um, oh, the state. Someone can sue you. So if someone believes that you are getting an abortion after that six week mark, someone's helping you, then they can sue you. So you or the person who's going to perform the procedure? The per who are, So say a partner, right? a partner or anyone who knows of you doing that can sue okay. you. Yeah, anyone. It's, a, it's, a random it's like person. a Rico for the fucking abortion type of shit. Like, yo, like if you knew about the abortion, we're getting all y'all. Like, in a sense, pretty much, yeah. If it's after six weeks, so you're you're only so pretty much the law says um, six weeks and and under that you're able to get a legal abortion. Oh, so it's not like they're banning the whole thing. I mean, you're pretty much like it's pretty much doing that, okay? Because so a lot of women, when you a, a woman who thinks that she might be pregnant. Um, a lot of times they don't know till they're missed period. So a lot of times that's two weeks after. And so if they're going to assume that, you know, and a lot of doctor's offices, how they do it is they're going to consider how far along you are based on the last, the first day of your missed last period, if that makes sense. You got that right? Okay. So your period is supposed to be on a certain day. You missed it. So yeah. now based on that point. Based on the, the, the first date. day of your, of your last period. Right. So. Oh, okay. So they're going to assume that. So if they assume that you are, you're seven weeks. Because a lot of women don't know that they're pregnant right away. So they assume, they wait till they're missed period. And how long do some women wait? Some women's period is not regular. So a lot of times they'll wait until they're, usually what doctors will even do is that they'll say, like, for you to wait till you miss your period, usually that's two weeks after your missed date. So that's, that's six weeks. You're already, six, six, weeks you're already six weeks in. That's and then, fucked up. That's a and setup. Then, and a lot of times you're not able to get the abortion when you want to get it. So you, you do like the you'll schedule, you do your visit to get the pregnancy test. And then, oh, well, well, then we'll have to schedule you in a next time to, um, to get, you know, to see an ultrasound or to see, you know, like if you want to schedule like the abortion or whatever. So by that time you're already screwed. So you're not able to get the abortion on the timely manner that you that you that you'd like to, pretty much. Anywhere else, what's the cutoff uh, time? There isn't. There isn't. What's like, California? No, you, you gotta. I'm sure there's well, a cutoff. Well, like, there you can, are. You can't certain, be six months pregnant and be like. Well, there. So there's some debate on that. Be, well, not debate on that because there are some. Depending, you gotta find it. I don't know where, but there are doctors that do still perform, and I forget the word of it, but they still perform um, abortions, like up until like you give birth so they pretty much when like when you're giving birth like they 
pretty much. Kill I don't want to say baby? kill, but I don't want to kill it, but like. No I mean, that's way. what they're doing. What's the point if he's that? giving birth, the they, they're killing the baby. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's. It sounds like China. That that's another person. That's their belief Joking. system. You know, like if a woman. So then it goes back to like, okay, so why should a woman who is she still killing a baby at like four weeks? There's people's logic on that. Like, okay, so if she wants to decide to like have an abortion still after the baby's full term, then it's still a full. And then it's still considered a baby, right? That's considered wrong. So why is that considered wrong? But why is a woman getting an abortion at four weeks not considered the same way so there's that op if that makes sense there's that that outlook on it because they just look at it like how much has progressed huh? they just see like well but it isn't it still yet, her right, right to decide isn't yeah, it still her be, body you yeah. know she still doesn't want it for whatever reason yeah. you know she decided to wait that far long to get an abortion isn't it still her right to choose yeah there's quite a few women that don't even know till months months after exactly you know, so to have that option taken away from you before you can even really decide yeah. whether or not mm -hmm. this is something that you want to continue with, that well, that's not but what fair. If a what woman was that show? Petty I didn't know I was pregnant. Y'all watched that shit yeah. before? Uh huh. That shit was crazy. I didn't like, know. They'll literally pregnant. be taking shits and a baby will come out. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Was, a lot of them end up wild. having the babies in the in the toilet because yeah. they feel like they say like I feel like I had to like I had to poop. And, and, and a real baby crying baby. A baby comes out and it's in the toilet. A lot of times what? that's how they end up having the baby is in the toilet, literally. And they don't feel no nothing. Symptoms or yeah. anything, yeah. It's just what wild. People mm -hmm. are different, bro. Bad, I mean, bro. yeah, everything. I mean, you never know how it's going to affect yeah. the person. You you know, you could get hella tattoos and not feel pain. But if I fuck around and get a tattoo and I feel fucking like someone's legit stabbing my arm. We're different, different fucking people. Probably get tatted on your ribs or something. No, no, I mean, so, <laughs> yeah. no, it doesn't hurt. It's my ribs. You never know. You never <laughs> it know. Like hurt. I said, it people's different. <laughs> if I was saying people's different. Yeah. You know? Nah, you P can handle different that. Different pain, pain tolerance and <laughs> yeah. shit like that. Yeah. I know you a ta tattoo expert now. Nah. Right here with even. ten tattoos not now. Even. Nah, like not just four. Yeah, not even. He's gonna change his name to Tattoo uh, Tattoo Poppy, bro. Tattoo Ooh. Poppy, Tattoo uh. Baby, where you at? Give <laughs> me a link, let's link. All right, so do we all agree um, the woman should decide Tattoos whether to have fucked up an it's, abortion or not? Damn, Damn, but why do you think they even passed that though? What was the whole point of that? Like, what's what difference one, is it making? One, one, I think someone in the higher ups probably it's got all, his fucking daughter pregnant. It's all white men. Yeah. There's no woman. On that board of decision making, it's all older white men. There's no black men. And so what they no. believe? They believe it's like all children should be born, or what? Is it? It or is it a money thing? Yeah, yeah, Maybe they're claiming that. It's a very, con very conservative state. That's what Texas it is. is they're a trying very to claim conservative that. State. That's a child they don't. Of God. They, from my understanding, they don't teach like comprehensive sex ed. It's just abstinence. Like you don't have, you don't have, you just don't have sex. But why can't kids sure. just? Can, can you they ask are. what the cutoff of? Cut off limit or like I guess time period is for like abortions in every other state. It's gonna be like, different. You, just in California, because since again, we're in California, oh, California. Because again, again, not there's not a lot of places that are gonna advertise. Oh yeah, we do this because a lot of those doctors also get you know their safety is at jeopardy That's for saying that you conduct um, late term abortions. That's the word for late term abortions. And it's pretty much it. It depends on everybody's own morals and whatever pretty they believe much, in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I shouldn't believe. But I feel like mm. a lot of times, uh, whenever like local elections are going on, this is when they start passing laws like this because they're trying to win votes. That should look confusing as fuck. It doesn't yeah, matter, bro. I don't it don't what, matter. What the colors mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, All right, yeah. so women should choose. Wow. Yeah. But what if what if the woman's doing that out of spite? Like he. She mad at the guy that got her pregnant, then she'd be like, "All right, well, I'm killing your baby just to hurt you," but the guy wants the baby. Oh, and see, that's a whole other topic right there too. That, like, what do you do then? Like, what? And it's, it should go both ways. You should Because what if the man doesn't want, want it? You want to have a baby? But, but, but what but if she's fucking thing, crazy? The, the guy could then want it, but, the at the, but at the end of the day, like she said, it's still the woman's though. choice, yeah. right? She's it's know. fucked up. It's fucked. There's a double standard. There's a double standard. It's so easy for a guy to to like just walk away from it to do the deed and and it's all the responsibility on the women and i'm not saying that like all women are like yes, that you do are. have it no 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 i'm not saying that all women like are going to be like good moms i'm not saying that at all but at the end of the day it's like you're the woman is the one that's going through this like all the changes a lot of it falls on on them yeah. you know but I mean, so why like can i, said, I make, that's one way make, to look at it. it no what it comes down to is like it doesn't make sense that someone else should be telling me what I can do with my body. Like if I, whether or not I want to have kids, 
And again, that's like kind of bringing it back to birth control. Like, who are you to say that I can't go on birth control if I don't like, you know, pretty much what it's going back to is like at this point, we're trying to regulate everything, any choice regarding a woman's health. Right is put into someone else's hands like like i i can't make these choices for myself right yeah like they're okay. trying to like okay what was your argument on birth control though so what were you saying like who are you as the man to tell me to go on birth control or or, or, or to not go on it like if i want to because yeah. at this point the way that that texas is going you might as well just outlaw birth control like make it so inaccessible because again <clears throat> not not always but a lot of the times women that are experiencing these i'm not saying all women but majority sure. of the women are low income they don't have access to birth control you know they don't have access to to health care it's okay. expensive right how many of you guys have health insurance nah, I do. Fuck. under your parents if you do nah. or is it on your own on my own i i, shut I was under my parents up until i hit 24 and they're like yo it's cut off at this age <laughs> so i was shut like all right well, run, gotta pay man. for my own i think my job got me what, what do you mean? No, you would know. Bro. You would know, bro. Yeah, because they they take they take your money, bro. Okay, so just for a man, but for a woman, for a woman to have to get money. on, you know, to have insurance, it's so much more than just you know the dental. You have to make sure you know when you are of a certain age. Okay, I need a gynecologist, a specific doctor, you know, for my reproductive rectum. Needs. Yeah. For your what? Oh wait, that's a <laughs> that, that's a col- col- colonoscopy. My bad. She said, for my rectum. No, she said what? <laughs> she said my rectum. She said, my rectum? She said col- yeah, no, that, I, 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 I was thinking colonoscopy. You know, I never had a doctor for my rectum. <laughs> I have. You're going to. <laughs> okay, okay. So would We're it be easier to, to have a law that says your, like you said, your choice? But if you choose to have the baby. And the man doesn't want it, then you can't get in for child support. Here's here's the thing. Is that fair? Because if you, mm, what if the man wanted right. to have the baby, but you don't want to have the baby, and it's still your choice. So, so can it be right. that if, like you know, what if men want to have it, some men don't want to have it, mm-hmm. but ultimately you decide. The woman decides, right? So let's say the man doesn't want it, and the woman does, but if she chooses to have it, then she can't file for like child support. At that case, then he can sign his rights over, and then at that point, then that's it. Like the guy could be like, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, pay child support. Well, then you sign your rights. But a lot of guys don't, either they don't know it or they don't want to do it. But at that point, when you sign your rights over, my understanding is that you that you can't you don't want, want nothing. Really? Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know that. You're, you're yeah, you're out of the life. You're at that point, life. but what, so but people that pay you, child support is because they haven't signed the rights over. Pretty much, my understanding is that. You know, like so if, if at that, that point you don't Them want because they don't want to seem like deadbeats. Like, no, nah, I don't want to. It could be that. I don't Ego. want nothing to do with my kid, but Ego? yeah, I'll I'll I buy him clothes once a, a year. I'll pick up my son. Uh, uh, up. I'll be next or child? next back week to <laughs> pick him up again. Whatever it is, the woman should be able to decide. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you said, y'all going through yeah. that here's, whole. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because you were like, yo, it's, it's, it's Ronnie it's wants running. kids. That's why. Uh, no, relax. Um, <laughs> um, relax. Because here's the thing. Because you were like, you were saying, look, look, if if I get pregnant, it's, at the end of the day, technically, it is my choice, right? Yeah. But if you're both are in a relationship, you both are having sex. You know what the consequences of are of having sex if you're not using condoms and if you're not on birth control. You know that the possibility is that you both can get well, not both, but you can get yeah. pregnant. And then if that happens, you knowing all those consequences, you're still going to be like, at the end of the day, nah. It's your choice. I mean, if you That's don't know, so it's, it's, still, it's your choice. It, it's the woman's choice. It's the woman's choice. But at what if I want to have the baby? Why, why, why do you have to decide? You're not the one going through it. It's so easy to say. So th- there's also that thing so that, where that, they had men for sure. Though, and right. men couldn't even, you know... So what if I don't want to have it, but so you want to have the it? Men, the men couldn't even handle the side effects. What about women when we go through side effects when we're on birth control? We're supposed, we put up with it, right. you know, but guys can't. Okay, we so buy you guys so about, uh, there was another thing that was that was about vasectomies that are reversible. So why shouldn't? Okay, so if we're gonna mandate women to uh, to get to not have abortions or whatever, yeah. it takes two to tingle. So why not have the men get vasectomies if that's reversible and they're and they're fine? Why not that? If we want it, so does that make you feel because uncomfortable? Because it's more painful. And, well, and not giving right? and not giving mm-hmm. birth is painful for a lot of women. You know, a lot of women giving be, birth is painful. They but, say but it could be life threatening. It could yeah. be life exactly. That's where I was gonna go. It could be life threatening. So just because it, you can be uncomfortable I'm for maybe out. for a guy can be just because a guy doesn't want to be uncomfortable for what maybe two weeks that discomfort weighs more than a woman's discomfort for her no, to be no, pregnant. No, 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 no. no. Right? Don't. I'm not dismissing anything of what y'all go through because. And in my entire lifetime, whatever the fuck you guys go through when it comes to, like, uh, 
Giving, just giving birth or just all the thing that just changes inside your body, you know what I mean? Their like periods, we, yeah, all that. Right. Like some women, they're literally debilitated because of their period. But like, here's the thing, like like I said, you knew all the consequences, right? Mm -hmm. I got pregnant. Isn't it kind of selfish for you to be like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just get rid of you because I didn't want you, but I knew that you could come up here, well, you know what I mean? You know, but, for a lot of women, it's not that easy. Sometimes it's, you know, like, when you think about teenagers when they start having sex and, and their hormones are, are like out of rage and, and they're they're having sex whether protected or, or, or not, you know, are you going to... I kind of lost my train of thought, but... Yeah. It, but the, point is, no, uh, the point is that... Are you... How would you handle that situation if teenagers are pregnant? You know, when their hormones are out of whack, when they're not able to con control, I guess, you know, everything is just raging just How do you busting us left and right ronnie you know and right, they know but true. you but you have sex ed and you tell them you know this is the consequences what's gonna happen guys still have sex right unprotected with knowing that herpes is like one of them like one in four people have it because that's how common it is so but scary. you guys are still having yeah but you won't always have symptoms so one of us has it because we're five to ten. that's what i'm saying but, but, that's, but that's how common it's it a is. lie Dude's that's looking around. Hey, Dude said, it "Which one of you motherfuckers?" But the same thing. But, but I, got, I got health still, insurance for a reason. What you mean? <laughs> but people are still willing to risk having unprotected sex. Oh, because that person looks clean. Because maybe, you know, they don't look like they mm -mm. they have bumps or, or whatever mm -mm. kind of symptoms. Nah, because it look good. But you do. Agree. I like your shoes. I like your shoes. <laughs> I, like your shoes. <laughs> I like your shoes. Not all, you don't always think about. People don't always think about the consequences of a lot of things you do a lot of things without thinking about the consequences you know you just do it you just the, caught in the, in the moment. moment you caught in the moment yeah, yeah but the at, moment. at the end of the day it's it's the woman's mm. choice you know and, and th that doesn't mean to say that it's an easy choice for someone to make that i don't, I don't believe that'd be an easy choice for anyone Not to at all. Make. would That's you take scary. the man's feelings into consideration though like i mean in regards to what like in regards to like what? yeah like i i get at the end of the day it is your choice mm -hmm. but this is something you're killing something that we both help create it Yes and no, because think about nowadays, yeah. these motherfuckers are bums. Clean and do it. Some, some guys no, will sell you, no, no, will sell you the world. No, but these it's what you say, like, no, nah, I'll take care of it, whoop de wop but yeah, they got to ask for mommy and daddy for fucking diaper money. That's like, crazy. These motherfuckers are bums. But, but here's the thing, and that's so true because we see it a lot, but here's the thing, like, let's say, no, let's just eliminate that. And let's say, look, we're both good. We both can go ahead and take care of this kid. You just don't want it. And you're not even hearing me out because you know for a fact you don't want to deal with it. But you're not even listening to what I but, gotta but say. It's not, you're not listening the, to most Ronnie. of the time, it's not the fact they want to deal with it. It's the fact that it's fear. It's it fear. is fear. It's fear that they don't know how it's going to. Um, they don't know if it's gonna come out. They don't know how it is, and they don't know what they're gonna feel when it's come out. It's a lot of possibilities. Like, it's just, bro. We're honestly, we as men, we're feeling, we're we're feeling pleasure busting a nut. Yeah, and that's all we feel. It's true. That's all we feel. Yeah. I got the same. I got the same feeling with Pamela. You know what I mean? I understand. But, but, I understand. But, but Pamela, Pamela I don't have. I don't have that get, connection you with Pamela. You don't got worry about Pamela getting pregnant. It, you don't got exactly. worry about the the palm right here inflating on you. You have and, a connection and to your palm. Another day, little you don't have a out here. All right, all right. So just to move forward, we yeah, all agree it should be a woman's choice. Of course. You can, yes. you can feel yeah. the way ever. You don't have to feel that, but. I'm as just the a, only woman here. Ricky, yes. I'm gonna Imagine say getting fat for nine woman's. months without you it's even wanting choice. to get fat. Oh, fuck. It's exactly. More, it's more than just, what? oh my that? God, it's so much more than the look way at Eric, so Look at Eric's simplification. I understand, so I understand but I, I knew Ricky would understand me that. He said, oh, fuck. Like it's he, so much more than that. It's like more than that, that Eric. I know, but Come you, on, you Eric. got me in that level, though. You You understood me. You understood me. You understood me, Ricky. I, I heard you when you here. said the old fuck. I heard the old fuck. You said, nah, I don't want that. Imagine uh, your feet your getting swollen. Imagine you feeling nauseous. You can't enjoy the things that you Losing enjoy. your hair. What, so what's... <laughs> I'm putting that yeah, everybody. losing your hair. Losing your hair. You have milk coming out of your titty. Bro, your it's organs move. <laughs> your <laughs> organs hey, literally you fucking move. You can't drink dude. the milk, fool. I mean, tell you, <laughs> you, you can. can. I mean, but it's nasty. <clears throat> How do you know? Have you tried it? It's nasty, fool. <laughs> so you yeah, try nasty, fool. I've For real? So you ain't got no kids. Said. Who's who's titty milk who you sucking? It was his dad's. <laughs> no. No. Pass the jack. Give him the jack. Let's move forward, man. Let's move forward. So a woman. Texas is tripping. Their That's body, all we their know. choice. And Texas is tripping. Yes. 
Yeah. All right, well, moving okay. on from abortions. Woman's we're gonna, choice. We're going to move to some uh, certified love. Certified lover. What you guys think? Have you guys heard the album yet? Have I heard you? most of it. Maybe there was one track that I really liked. That's yeah, there was, like, there was like a couple, maybe a few. I wouldn't say more than four or five tracks that I liked. I w- but I'm going to say again, there was uh, less skips on Don. There was... Let's skip on this track than Donda. All right, here's what we got. I just here's what I want to know: Are we comparing them? Or are we just talking about CLB I'm right not, now? I'm not gonna compare them. I can't. I, mean, I, I mean, can't aren't compare. They the it's kind of hard. Aren't they, comp- aren't they competing? I, I think it was they, forced that did, way, but I don't think so. What they did was a well, way of propaganda for their that way. Because Con- Drake you know, could have dropped this shit a long time ago. And he could have, but he could have dropped this shit a long time ago. But mm, he's Kanye such really a fucking out perfectionist that he needs this shit to to the T of his ear. I don't know if Kanye really had this shit in the tuck like he last didn't year. He did because i Drake heard, had this in the tuck last year, yeah, not Kanye. I don't know. But I've heard quite a few verses that he didn't put out there. I'm like, ah, oh, that could have been dope. Hmm. I'm not sure. All right, let's talk about COB, man. All right. Uh, as, as a whole, it was cool. I liked it. it I, was didn't, cool. I didn't finish the whole. It wasn't fire to me. West Side's album was better. Oh, yeah, that's that was always I better. Heard great yeah. things, though, so I'm about to Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Listen, Stove God? I'm a, oh yeah, Stove. Listen, man, I'm a big Jay Z fan. God? I'm a I'm a big Jay Z fan. So when uh, when I heard that Jay Z verse, I just had to stop it there, you know, because I feel like he every time, do more. I feel like time, he went in more than not, more than this one than it. Oh, he did yeah, not. Of course, of course, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's just a different beat. I can, you know, yeah. this is a different beat because that Kanye West beat was more like a double time. It was more for Hove to have fun on, but at the same time say something. But with this beat, this was like pound cake number two. This yeah. was like, you know what I mean? Ooh. That fucking, that smooth ass Ooh, beat. I didn't even compare it like that, but you you're right. Saying? Like that smooth ass beat, the fucking mispattered drums, it's low key drums, low key not drums, and mm-hmm. you just have Jay Z talking that shit. Like, yeah. like, bro, like, I could, it's easy, it's easy not to build with you when I could destroy you. That takes discipline, you know? Yeah. Like, he was just talking yeah. like some real yeah. grown man shit. So like, he was talking to Dame, right? I don't know. Talking you don't to everybody, know? bro. It felt, like, it, it felt like he was talking to me. He's like, yo, know. bro, like, like you chilling with the people that try to kill me, and you wonder why we not friends. <laughs> I was I was listening to Joe Budden, and they broke down. I was like, yeah. He was like, yo, you got things he's talking about with Dane. I was like, mm, could make sense. Could I mean, make could, sense. I mean, if the shoe fits. You I know still got to listen to that Joe Budden shit. Yeah. But uh, every time I hear Jay Z first, I feel like I got to listen to that shit. Is that the first time. thing you went to? No, not the first thing. Oh, you started, to, uh, you started for track yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Sorry for track one. Intro was hard. And it was hard. Listen, man, when I got to track seven, I was in the gym listening to it. So by that time, I was in the sauna. Man, listen, man, when that Jay Z verse came on, I was alone in the sauna. Listen, uh, man. What did you do? You whacked off to Jay Z's verse? What? <laughs> what makes you do that to that? Okay, in the sauna? Hey, listen, man, I was no, in the sauna. Why are you I whacking was a- off in the sauna? No, but he was like, I was alone. I was alone, so what? I was jamming. I Yo, was jamming out, man. That you're shit. You're struggling with your meat in, in the hot sweat, bro? No, I could not struggle my wheat in, the, in my meat in the, my wheat. <laughs> <laughs> I could not struggle my meat in the heat, bro. I pass out. Oh, okay, I thought nah, that's bro. where you were going. That's, nah, I mean, your, your heart, your heart's already racing up because yeah, it's heat, yeah, yeah, so yeah. You know, that's not that's not healthy. But uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, I was just jamming out to Jay Z's verse, listening to every word he says, like picturing every word he says, and man, he was just talking that talk. Like it sounded like he was just sitting across from someone. Like like look, like you wondering why I don't fuck with you. Like look, this is the shit you did to me. Like mm-hmm. like, but I I overgrew. I I like overcame it. Could have fucking uh, I could have built with you and like made you like come up with me, but instead like nah, I'd rather not fuck with you. But like, I, I do like uh, Drake rapping. Drake, like yeah, actually like spitting, talking his shit too, mm-hmm. like that. Uh, seven a.m. on what bridal path mm-hmm. was it? Was it was that? just straight Kanye's Kanye. Just straight straight Kanye talking shit. shit, like straight talking shit and straight uh, lyrical. But at the same time, it's I don't know. Drake has a different type of lyrical to me. Well, he just says he's. I he's, feel like he he's says, too honest. He I, says shit. He says shit that you would say like in a normal conversation to someone. And you but relate then he to makes it. Rhyme, yeah, and then he makes some it rhyme. Shit, yeah, he makes a rhyme and then comes back with it to like, oh shit. You know, I don't know. It's weird to me. Like, like he's the type to say. I'm something. not a rapper, Miggy. He, yeah, shows, yeah, yeah. he shows vulnerability. Vulnerability. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. just says like normal day to day. Like he'll say something like, yo, I don't know why you take things so personal. Now he ain't the person that I used to know. You know what I mean? He'll say some shit like that. That's like oh, applicable man. to be like, oh damn, man. Hey, I do know someone that's personal, but now no. that's not I'm the person say this that now. I used to know. Like, you if know? y'all are using Drake lyrics as captions, I'ma block y'all. 
You've been warned. <laughs> you're blocking. You're blocking half of your followers. <laughs> I'm blocking y'all. I'm blocking half of your followers. I'm blocking y'all. You, you know. You know Especially how many Drake lyrics have been posted? Fire? You don't even know it. Especially if the picture's not fire. It has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with it. Do not Get certified. The fuck out of here. Do not certified lovers. I mean, if you're, I mean, I don't know. No. <laughs> well, well, I mean. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Jay Z's verse, man. Jay Z's verse is my favorite. Part. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. cool. Let me just. Uh, I'm gonna just say this. It? Jay Electronica went in. Oh yeah. On Donda. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying that one. And then uh, I who heard was the first couple songs from Donda. I was like, no, this shit ain't for me. For real? Huh? You like Jay? What, what, no, hold on, hold on. What did you listen to it in? The intro that was kind of weird. Mm, okay. And then the second song. No, no but I'm were you wearing that. headphones? Were you in the car? Or was it in <laughs> I was the wearing speakers? headphones. Okay, see, so no, you got to listen to it in the, in the car. In the shower. It's in different. The car. It's different. Was I naked? <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Here's another thing that I noticed because listen I listen to Drake in your headphones. Listen to Donda in the car, where you could have actually like some bass. That's true. You know, but jail goes hard. I love jail. Yeah, jail goes hard. I think uh, like, I, so I heard two songs. I'm like, this shit ain't for me. Bro, it's so fire, bro. You have no idea, bro. Look, listen to me. He's look. demon child, fool. What? Me? No, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Why? Why me? Because you um, know you don't like that. That that. This is gospel. basically. Do the you consider this gospel? It's like dark gospel, but yeah, I don't How know. I, I've, ne I've never even dark heard of gospel. See, yeah, see, you, there's no hard. category as dark gospel. That's what I'm gospel. saying. I've never even listened to a gospel album, so I don't know. I've Maybe listened you to gospel, gospel album, but only in Spanish. Yeah, I, 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 so I, don't, know what, I don't know if it's a gospel I mean, album or not. I mean, a gospel choirs. album is basically just talking about God and praising God. That's what a gospel, that's what gospel is. Yeah. Oh. Heaven, like hell, a, a heaven and hell, though. though, that's my shit. It's a, it's a certain type, though. Yeah. Like, like the choir type, you know? Because he had no like cussing. That. They had choir. Talking about God. Uh, I, feel, I feel God in here right now. What was that song? But he just repeated that. I forgot what song. It's hard, it was. yeah. It's hard to keep yeah. track of all this because you know Drake, he really talks know. about God and Jesus a lot. So Kanye's album is twenty-seven songs. Drake's album is twenty-one. Oh wow! They need to chill. We don't. We don't have that attention span no more. Here's the thing, <laughs> though, because I looked at all that shit and I was like, "Bro, twenty-seven? Are you?" But you kidding went through me? it. I went through it yeah. multiple times. What? The Drake shit, I went through it maybe like three times. What and about I, already, West Side? I, I picked out my shit and none. I haven't, I haven't peeped it yet. Why? Um, I did like West Side and, and Conway shit on on, uh, on Kanye shit. Yeah. Okay. That was okay, hard. Okay, but I'm not talking about Kanye no, shit. No, and I already answered. I haven't, oh, I haven't peeped it. I, I, I don't know, but I don't, know, I don't, but I don't, I don't, haven't you though? I don't, I don't follow Griselda like that. I don't know. You have to. I mean, it's not about following Griselda. It's just one of the top albums that were up there. Yeah, it's just, uh, I see that. It's, it's, it's just giving it a run through. Like, I, hey, we'll see yeah, what this is about. The, the way I listen to albums because I don't know how because you, you guys don't go to Spotify, and I'm on Spotify a, I don't unless I don't I just go to like the artists that I fuck with. You know what I mean? I don't go to like oh what's top one through ten and see what's really popular. Mm -hmm. I never click on those. You should. You be you be running into some fire. Well yeah, yeah. I mean fire. Cause, cause like sometimes fire I click that on motherfuckers it. don't even know. Yeah, but I run into fire without it. Ooh. But you're on uh, that I mean, one. He starts on Gorilla Mixtape. Where's that shit? On um, what? That oh, mix the, that Gorilla. Gorilla. That go. I mean, that's from mixtapes, but I don't think yeah, people really make mixtapes anymore. That's asking because he introduced me to that shit. You're yeah, still on that. No, I'm not on no. mixtapes oh. either. I'm just talking about artists that like are really low key, like underground, like like mm -hmm. like they probably got like. 20,000 plays, you know what I mean? But this shit's like, fire. Ankle John, fire. Dash, he Ankle JS, he's having shit. Riggs, That's dope. Willie yeah. the Kid. Uh, uh, but yeah. But you gotta listen to that shit. Just, yeah, just listen give a little peek. 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 Yeah, man, let's tell what's that gun, man. And then go back to like all the other seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I was like, fuck. You got no, some homework. Mom, you don't have to. Honestly, you don't have yeah, to. But it's if I different. like the last one, I'm gonna have to go back just, just because it's gonna happen. Yeah. It's at it's the, all different. Progress. At the end of the day, it's though, man, progression. They when grow, it came bro. to Donda, they though, grow. I loved it more musically. I think Donda had the better music. music. Yes. Um, Lyrically, Drake got it. Drake musically, got more shit that I could relate to. He says more things that relate to me. Cause you're a lover boy. Damn, my certified uh, though. Yeah. My certified yeah. though. Yeah. I think so, you're man. the big seven. You certified. Seven. Yeah. Look at you wearing it right now. Fuck. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Oh, fuck. How do you guys feel about his, uh, not advertising, but there's another word for it. His ads? Or his like, ads, uh, all that shit. Oh, like, like the, the way he works. The, the promotion, rollouts. the promotion. The How do you guys feel about that? I hated the uh, cover art. Marketing. Yeah. I'm not even going to call it art. It's just emojis. Emoji art. Emoji but I mean, cover. But, but he, the it's so it simple that, you know, it got people talking about does, it. Does it move on Apple playlists? Did playlist? it get people 
talking about that or did uh what's his name? What's his fucking name? Lil Nas X get get more attention than this oh, little cover pretending album. Lil Nas, I guess he was pretending to be pregnant for his it, album. This cover. is his cover album, I believe, oh. for his new album. Shit. Which is fucking genius to me, even though yeah. he's okay. L- along the cover album, male. everything else he did, all the fucking signs Drake, you saw, right? yeah, Drake, all the stuff he put up, like on the different cities of artists that were on it. Um, that was smart. I think it was dope. Yeah. I think it was dope. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because he was had unexpected. I it was genius, dude. Because I haven't seen nobody do that shit. I, I see people do New York genius. and the, and the yeah. big thing. I mean, what other artist has done that? No one's done it, but I don't want to say it's genius either. Anybody can put billboards anywhere and be like, yo, hey, look, so and so. But I mean, Westside Gun been having his uh, Hiller Wears Hermes 7 billboard on, for on like the New York Street for, yeah. for three I years. Mean, I, it was different the fact that, like, yo, in, in the font that I'm using and yeah, like true. I'm putting it in a certain city. So obviously in Chicago, yeah. hey, uh, what was it? The voices on this album or I like so. obviously Lil Durk? I but it was on those traffic shits, right? It wasn't like a billboard off the side. It was like where they announced it. It was the, different for everybody. It was spot. different. Billboard and so traffic shit. Yeah, and billboards just like, on like top the of LED subways. LED traffic bullshit. Was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah where yeah. they do the like Amber Alerts and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. He had it on that and like billboards and other shit like that. I mean, fuck. You have how, they have how much money? Right. Fuck around and you know advertise. Yeah. And I get, just thought it was fucking genius. It was obviously every, every it, advertisement and right. good advertisement. What is, about hey. the Trojan one? Did you guys see it where it says "We got you covered" and they did his a COB album. COB the on the COB, Trojan, yeah. but all the women are not pregnant. You oh, guys didn't see that? No. Oh, I don't no, know if they I just saw, or, I just, if they, or, I, or if the Trojan did it. I just saw it said CLB on the on the, the Trojan. Uh, COB, they try to say club. No, we talking about certified lover boy. I think you gonna have to no, type COB, it out. COB, you put club. Type in Trojan Drake. <laughs> kind of scared to see what it will pop up if you I type mean, that shit up though. You think you think that was good advertising? Meanwhile, Kanye West is setting himself on fire and lifting himself up in the arena. No, no, no. This was different. No, this was good. <laughs> Kanye made way more money on that whole bullshit that he did. Here's the thing. Yeah, it was good the advertising. Show bullshit that he did. Condoms. But he sold out then. three arenas on an unreleased album. Exactly. He sold out three arenas just for plugging so, in the so, ox. So, then, are we talking about advertising wise or right, making money down? wise? No, no, no. Because making money wise, Kanye Where was the way more emojis genius. Are at. Advertisement wise, there is no genius. There that one. They, yeah. And then is, Trojan posted that on their website. Advertisement for them. Even if yeah. they go ahead and put it in every city that their features are from. You Even think, if Drake got one wrong. Right. You think Kanye made more money off his album than Drake did? Off his he album? made more money on the release, not the album. Oh, not the, the, album. Release. Oh, the release. I think Kanye made more money, but I think he also spent way more on oh, his yeah. budget than what but who Drake has spent. More money? It was obviously, the motherfucker got like $4 billion net worth. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you. But I mean, this is basically him doing like tours. What happens if Drake goes on tours with the shit or a show? Clothes. But yeah, I mean, Shoes. it's a whole package though. He went out uh, there to the public. Uh, show. He sold most of the merchandise probably at the arenas where he was having his events. Motherfucker ice cream bars for sixteen dollars. Yeah, but that, that's what I'm like saying. Sixty five dollars. Oh was, yeah, yeah. He was selling was uh, like merch for like oh, no, you found fucking it, you found I don't know how much. It was crazy. But it was official. It's actually on the Trojan. That's Canada. what I said. It's you seen the, that? It's on Trojan Canada. Trojan Canada's official website. Uh, but yeah, Canadians. I just sent it. Shout to all Yo, my Canadians. Send them with someone Shout through. out to the six. Someone through. That's send funny as fuck. Through. We'll give it to Ronnie to use. So do you Even think he, he paid for that, or do you think <laughs> they just did it? <laughs> huh? What do you guys think? You think he paid for that to for the Trojan condoms to do that, or you think they just did that? I don't know. They probably made some deal. They probably Either made some or, deal. No matter what, they both are making money. I thought that shit was last. Because a lot of motherfuckers, you know. How it is nowadays, they're going to go out and buy all this shit and try to resell it. So that's on the box? Yeah. That, 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 I don't that. So. I don't they know. just posted it on their page. Oh, okay. Read, what does it say? We got you covered for any upcoming album releases. Because <laughs> wow. uh, who was it? Travis Scott selling cereal? And it was regular oh, ass right. Reese's Puffs? Just uh, with that fucker's ugly ass face on the fucking plate. Well, the same thing as the McDonald's. Yeah, uh, right? the, the, what's the, his name? The, the Travis Scott meal, too. Or the sweetie, the sweetie meal. meal. Or the sweetie meal, yeah. It's fucking disgusting. I don't know. It's just some weird shit. It's just Bro, some it's like, just sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. You, no, if you were to literally eat it how she would eat it, it's disgusting. It's Maybe some people like it. I've seen I some know. people trying you to combine. You basically put everything no. in the fucking uh, Big Mac. 
the whole chicken the nuggets and the fries and shit, and you spread the sweet and sour and the fucking uh, barbecue sauce on top as you bite into it like ketchup, like how you do with ketchup, you know? Like that's nasty to me. Yeah. How the fuck are you gonna have all those flavors? I mean, some people like it. I mean, no, I like. No it wonder Quavo left your ass and took the penalty back, bitch. <laughs> you mix the barbecue with the. Oh no. Exactly. I mean, they're both Thank sweet you. sauce, though. No, is it? Yeah, barbecue is sweet. Is barbecue sweet or is it? Yeah, There's a tangy. It's, yeah, I it's think tangy. it's tangy. It's a tangy sweet, right? Mm-hmm. Sweet and sour. I know. Sweet, sweet and sour. sour. It's, I think sweet and sour is just sweet. I don't think it's sour. You don't at all. think it's sour? No, I don't think it's sour. Either, but it's <laughs> fire. It's, it's fire. Good. That's right, man. You get a 20 piece with some large on fries on that motherfucker. Shit. Fire. Give me four dipping sauces. You feel me? Four dipping sauces. They try to give you one or two. Mm. And they Fuck try to charge you for you more. You ain't the plug trying to skip me. All right. All right let's got let, five minutes left. Let's move forward to the You next guys want to talk about Battle of the Bay through one? I mean, we, we can just hit it real there. quick. So you I was got there. I mean, say. the couple was there. Uh-oh. I mean, I was there mainly just to get some, you know, some inside so scoop for us. So you said you talked to four people. So I talked to the superintendent. Uh, that's the guy that runs here in the district. Obviously. The Seaside High principal, the Monterey High principal. Who's the Monterey High principal still? Uh, fuck, I don't even, I forgot his name. Damn. Mr. Uh, Spartan? Nah, maybe. No, but. We're, we're Tordos, bro. But the thing oh. he said was that they both used to coach together. Like, like the, the Seaside I, High principal coached for Monterey High and then became the, the, the principal at Seaside High. The guy that I wonder if I the, know the, the old coach the principal the, yeah for football the principal from Monterey High used to coach Monterey High and they're best friends so this That's was tight. like a little you know a little inside they That's told us the, like a little I rivalry how much you money know they had on the line who knows you know but it was bragging rights it was bragging rights you feel me because you're gonna have a little bet with your little, with your homie under the line even yeah. if it's money beer or food you're gonna have a little bet under the so side. I thought that was cool when we talked to him and they told us that little inside scoop I thought that was fucking that dope. Was dope yeah you know and then just the coach of the winning team which was Who Monterey won? High Monterey High won both games JV and RC yeah I, yeah mm-hmm. Damn. so Shout they, to they took it high. and then uh see that's Monterey. their new field I guess that's the first time yeah, they, they play on it yeah. so they yeah sh- on it. shout out to Miss Wodecki we uh, this teacher I know from Marina High she recorded the ribbon cut for us because they wouldn't let us on the field oh, Marina High was there too no, just that teacher. She's probably part of the council oh, she, or whatever now. Hey, Mar- hey Mariner's in the building, man. Mariner's, Mariner's in the building. building. I was there being Mar- neutral. What, what, what the, hey, just show up with your jersey. What is Marina High? What is it? What? Mariner's. What, Mar- what, what are y'all marinating? <laughs> Mariner's. Full people that, like sailors? What the fuck? Sailor. Y'all pirates? I guess the good guys. We're not pirates. We're sailors. Yeah. Sailors? Yeah. Good guys. The good sailors. The good sailors. Not what the are pirates. Coast guards? <laughs> the fuck sailors? Yeah, I don't remember being Mariners. a tordor and a sailor. Well, I'm I don't know what a tordor fuck is. Just call us a navy. Oh, a tordor is a bull. No, tordor. No, tordor is, is the, the dude the... fucking with the bull. Okay. Yeah, the oh. dude with the with the ole ole. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, so, yeah. so you guys are always like miss me with the bullshit. Yeah, we oh. are, <laughs> and we and we get through it. You feel me? Yeah, and Seaside is the condom team. <laughs> yeah, they fucking a lot. Yeah, they do. That's not they why. be but going out to a little no, what is it? Uh, what do they call it? What's they that cut, little spot? I think they cut all that shit down. Nah, it's where they have the trees and shit. Yeah, in the back, they, they cut spot. it down. I think because now well, you can get from uh, well, basically separate you get from seaside from to like central, central coast. coast. Yeah, yeah now you can get down. there. They call it um, what was it called, Ronnie? Uh, mm. it's been a while. I don't know. Uh, uh, Narnia. Narnia. They called it, bro. I remember catching a couple. Homie literally came through with a tent. A whole tent to Shit. sit up in the back and go ahead and go ham with the girl. MVP. That's real. MVP. You remember? No, you weren't there. No, you weren't I didn't there. See that? Dude. No, no. This is regular <laughs> school. You went to <laughs> you went to Central Coast for uh, summer, summer school, school. Yeah, but there. you weren't even supposed to go there. You got kicked out of Cesar High I was, with I me. Was there for preseason. You know what I mean? I yeah, we got kicked out of Cesar High. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> you remember the fight? <laughs> oh. 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 I was gonna say names, but yeah, I remember. That he shit remembers. was funny, bro. Fuck that guy, man. Why yeah. the fuck both of them, yo? They're funny, bro. That shit was funny as shit. Well, shit. fuck both right. those guys. Fuck both those guys. I should have the blog right down now. by like Friday, so we'll put or I'll drop it Saturday after we drop oh, the episode. For the Battle of the Bay. For the right. Battle of the Bay. Yeah. Some more content dropping soon. Yeah, so, so that should be dope. Yeah. Hey, 
appreciate you for doing that too, brother. Bro, we appreciate you. You, you were the only one out there. You and your girl appreciate y'all. Jim was there, but you wasn't hiding in the girl. work. I went to like a high school game. Like, have you? When's the last time you've been? It's been yeah, it's been, been a minute. Yeah. It's probably awkward with you awkward. walking around with the camera. Well, it wasn't that no, awkward. Was awkward. No. You said no. fuck it. Fuck no, it. No, actually, uh, it, it didn't seem as awkward because uh, we met up with Mr. Active and Attractive there. So just having someone else there, yeah, like a and he went to Monterey High, so you yeah. could kind of just lean to one side. So that made it less awkward for me, anyways. You oh, know. Oh yeah, because y'all Marina cats don't got that status up there yet. We 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 still hey, play with wow. Christian schools. We still play with Christian like, school. Like that that kind of hurt me a bit. You know? <laughs> kinda, yeah, I kind of like, uh, yeah. sharp you pain. Part of the is football sharp team, pain. I feel DJ? sharp pain. I feel sharp pain. DJ, what? DJ, Ricky, shots. Y'all can get up pain. there, bro. Shit. Y'all had to be the dude. It's a stars. different district. I feel it's a sharp different pain. District. I feel like a very sharp pain. Don't, don't worry, I'll give you a joint for it. Hey, Kat, can you tell the people where they can get their Slide Through Podcast merch? Absolutely. So y'all going to go over to the Slide Through Podcast IG. Click on that conglomerate by the C.com link. Go on to the left side, that sandwich bar. Click on that. Click on the Slide Through Podcast clothing. And then you're going to scroll down to that image where you see the Slide Through Podcast crew neck. Click on that, and there you go. You see the size is small through 2X.